So lately, some of you guys and girls, equal opportunity here, have said Smart DNS Proxy keeps popping up here and there, or even say, how do I remove it? I'll show you how, because it's cute and you want to take it on a night out into town. Well, for the unknown, Smart DNS Proxy lets you unlock geo restrictions on streaming sites like Netflix, Hulu, etc. And the way it works is you'd have to first enter Smart DNS Proxy DNS settings into yours and then activate your IP address in our system. But what if your IP address is not registered in our network and you're being rerouted to your My IP Address activation page every time you try and access one of the streaming sites that you can unlock? Well, there's two ways to fix that. You can remove the error page by logging into Smart DNS Proxy's My Account section and activate your IP address. Once you click Activate IP button and register your IP address to their network, you won't see any error page when you visit the list of supported sites. If you don't wish to continue using SmartDNS Proxy, or if your SmartDNS Proxy child is expired, then you just need to remove SmartDNS Proxy's DNS from your computer and smartphone, so you'll go back to your local ISP DNS. Here's how you do it on various operating systems, but this one is for Windows. Click on Network and Internet, and then click on Network and Sharing Center. Moving on to click on Change Adapter Settings, and then right click on the interface through which you're connected to the internet and click Properties. Double click on the Internet Protocol version 4, aka TCP IPv4. In the General tab, you should see two DNS servers there. Simply click on Obtain DNS Server and your system will start using DNS on your router or the one from your ISP. Save changes and reboot your computer. That should fix it now. Similarly on Mac OS, open System Preferences, click on Network under Internet and Wireless, and then select the network, wireless or ethernet. Your Mac is connected, then click on advanced and then click on DNS on the top section. There, you should be able to see DNS servers from Smart DNS Proxy. Click on those two DNS server IPs and remove it. Click on OK to save changes and reboot your computer. And that's it, no more error pages. If you're still getting Smart DNS Proxy pop-ups or if you're seeing no DNS server on your computer or mobile device, it's because you've set up Smart DNS Proxy on your router. Now you need to log into your router and remove these two DNS servers to get it working. But depending on what router or device you have, there's a step-by-step -step guide on the website. I'll leave a link in the description below so it makes it easy for you. I'm Vandy Krishna and hit that subscribe button because it just said something inappropriate.